most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. A little breezy along the coast tomorrow could be a little windier as winds kind of pick back up. Probably not as strong as what we had on Sunday, though. And as we go over the next few days, kind of just more of the same with the exception of hopefully less wildfire smoke, but also better rain chances as we head to Wednesday evening and even Thursday as well. We've had a few clouds kind of try to bubble up at the coast, but notice just too much haze. I think that's really limited our shower potential for today, but also helped maybe keep us a degree or two lower than we normally would have been without all this wildfire smoke. So it kind of goes both ways. Of course, if you're very sensitive to kind of dirty your air, make sure you're staying indoors this evening and hopefully it should get a little bit better tomorrow. And then I think by Thursday, things should be back to normal. We've had a few clouds today, mainly from storms off the coast and no storms really expected to impact us through the rest of tonight. Now to the west, this is going to be the same disturbance that moves through for us late tomorrow. It's not going to be the same storms. These are going to fizzle out over the next few hours and then we kind of get more to redevelop east of I-95 as we go through throughout the day could get some storms as early as maybe one, two, three o'clock and those storms will quickly kind of move out, but we've got more expected behind it. In fact, that main chance of rain may not come in until closer to or after sunset. Of course, it's really dependent on several factors. We'll have to watch the wildfire smoke. Maybe that impacts the uh, next round a little bit, but I still think with this disturbance moving through, not just kind of what can bubble up throughout the daytime heat. This has a little bit more uh, upper level support with it that a decent chance of rain Wednesday night and that the atmosphere can kind of rebound, become unstable again. Thursday afternoon and evening could see another round of storms for severe weather threat could rise a little bit as we go into tomorrow, but still looking very low to low, not just for us, but for the entire state. There could be some spots that completely miss out on rain over the next couple of days as we head into Thursday storm prediction center, highlighting the state line with South Carolina for some severe weather, but still some portions of us with a very low threat. If we do see severe weather, I think tomorrow night would probably be the best chance for that, mainly in the form of strong damaging wind gusts if everything can kind of come together. But right now the threat looks pretty low. Water pretty smooth, but the air just very, very hazy and just kind of dirty looking. As the sun goes down, the sky will kind of turn yellowish, then maybe a dark orange as the sun has to go through a lot of the light has to go through a lot more of the atmosphere, kind of changing the color of the skies a little bit. Air temperature anywhere from 90 to 91, got 80s along the coast, but when you factor in the humidity, once again, feels like up around 100. Now, due to storm chances the next couple of days, not really anticipating the heat index to be much higher, but by Friday when rain chances drop, could be our hottest day of the week and could be where we get pretty close to heat advisory criteria. Our dew points have actually kind of leveled out. They've increased inland. They've decreased along the coast, so everyone feels about the same. Yesterday, it was very different. Some spots were really humid. Others felt a little bit drier. We see high humidity for everyone over the next couple of days and then a slight drop this weekend as we get that front. Rain chances may be dropping a little bit, but still bet we get an increase in storm Saturday, maybe into Sunday. And uh, look at the overnight temperatures. Low to mid 70s in the next few days going to feel a little bit worse than it did this morning. And then it feels probably just as or maybe even a little bit more comfortable than this morning was Sunday, Monday, and maybe Tuesday as well. No, things cooling off just the slightest bit for us. Less hot. Less hot. They're <laughs> yeah. not cooling off. They're yeah. less hot. Still going to sweat. Still need to stay hydrated. <laughs> just not quite as intense as it has it's been. It's still summer. It just might be easier to be outside. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Zach.